In this video, we are going to look at the unnest operator with array and struct. Here, as we can see, we have the unnest operator. In previous video, we saw how we can convert values in an array into rows in the column using unnest. Here, we are going to do additional work using struct as well. So let's say we have this array in square brackets, where at index zero, we have a a tuple type of object where we have two values in it separated by a comma. First one is 11, second one is a string dog. And similarly, we have a second item in the array as well. Now, with struct as are written here, within angle brackets, we can specify the name of the column that would be name for a column that would be created after unnest operation is performed. Additionally, we can specify the type of data within those columns that would be created. So here we have 11, 12, sorry, 11 and 2, that is an integer. So we have specified int 64, and then dog and cat, those are strings, so we specify string. When we run this, we get in the output, we should get in the output a table that has two columns, x and y, with the values that we have in the array. Additionally, we can specify as underscore struct underscore value. What this does is, and here if we specify Allah after star, we specify comma struct underscore value. What that will do is, it will take the names of columns that are specified within the struct and add, append it to this existing, uh, append it to struct. So let's run this and see how the column names are created and it will create four columns in this case. So here we have the X and Y column. Additionally, we have struct X and struct Y. These two additional columns are created because we specified this struct underscore value in, uh, in the after select star. That was it for this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.